Hmm. Alexa, what time is it? It's 2 p.m. All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys for joining me again here at Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget, go to my YouTube channel, hit subscribe. Tell everybody to hit subscribe and watch my videos. They're very, very exciting. Now, I've got another, 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 another exciting book that I'm going to read to you guys. It's called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Viorst and it's illustrated by Ray Cruz. On the back, it reads, Alexander wakes up with gum in his hair. Ooh, his best friend is mean to him. And he has to eat lima beans for dinner. Uh-oh, there's kissing on TV. For Alexander, it's a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey, that's my name, Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I am going to be car sick, just car sick. No one even answered. I can tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Mo Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's, that's what it was, because after school, my mom took us to the dentist <laughs> and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. 
Come back next week and I'll fix it. I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I was, then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, I told everybody. No one answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copy machine. But I forgot, I forgot he said that. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as can be except from my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It's been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that. Even in Australia. The end. That's the end of this story. Thank you guys for listening to me read Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. And I just want to say, if you feel like you're having a very bad day, just smile and make somebody happy. Say something nice and positive to somebody. Compliment people. It makes them happy, so it'll make you happy. Just tell somebody, wow, I like your hairstyle today. Or those are some nice sneakers you have on. And guess what? It'll make them happy, so it'll make you happy. And it'll turn your whole day around. Thank you again for listening to me here at Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget, hit subscribe, watch my videos, tell everybody to come over here and watch my videos, and hit subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys. See you tomorrow at 2.